So I was just browsing through YouTube, you know as you do, and I came across these videos called Parkour Gauntlets, where people show off their parkour skills by completing insane parkour courses. And I thought to myself, I want to do that. You know, I want to be that crazy parkour guy. But what's keeping me from being that crazy parkour guy? Oh, you know, just my complete and utter inability to parkour. No matter how hard I try, I can't figure out how to string more than two and a half jumps together without falling to my death. So how am I gonna get good at parkour? I mean, I could just go onto a parkour server and practice, you know, like a casual, but I don't want to do that. So that's why I made a plugin to build custom parkour for me. So I'm sure you've all seen this kind of parkour generator, where a block appears in front of you after every jump again and again until you inevitably fall and die. But what if you want to practice more than, you know, the most basic parkour out there? Well, let's just say my parkour maker has you covered. We got Neos. We got slime jumps. I, I, I don't know what this one's called, but we got it anyways. And what my plugin does, it takes a few of these segments and smacks them together to make a short parkour course. Does it make good or fun parkour? No, not at all. But it's hard to make parkour, okay? So unless you want to make a parkour generator yourself, too bad. So when you first generate a parkour, you'll be presented with one of four difficulties. We got the easy parkour, so easy that even I can complete it first try. We got the medium parkour, providing, you know, a little bit of challenge. We got the hard parkour, the parkour that takes me just a few tries to complete. And we got the insane parkour. I'm not even going to try this one. It even has a timer to stop you from just, just sitting there and, and contemplating your life choices that, that led you to spending hours making a plug and no one asked for. Yeah. And it gives you a little ding sound when you beat the parkour. Yeah. So parkouring and creative is fine and all. But where the parkour really gets interesting is in survival. Because, you know, parkouring for the sake of parkour is fun for the first minute or so. And after that, you get bored, you get tired of it, and you just stop parkouring. But my parkour plugin won't let you stop parkouring. That doesn't sound creepy at all. So whenever you do just about anything in survival, be it hit mobs, break or place blocks, or even just move around, you'll be teleported to a newly generated parkour for you to complete. And when you're in survival, let's just say you don't want to mess up the parkour. So for example, let's say you're just mining your own business. Ha, huh, see what I did there? Mining? Instead of minding, it's mining? Okay. When all of a sudden you're teleported to a parkour, you can just complete it and be on your merry way. But as soon as you run out of time... Aww. I wanted those diamonds. Or say you stumble across a zombie and get teleported to parkour when you try and kill it. Now you could just finish the parkour and be okay. But if you fail and run out of time... Aww, I liked my gear. Yeah, that's right, it just kills you if you fail. Just, just you die. And, and then that's it. It's over. Now you're probably thinking, Doringo, won't constantly getting bombarded by DNT and death by parkour get annoying? And yes, it will. But that's the price we gotta pay to become parkour gods. When has anything worth doing been easy? O or fun? Or not deadly. And as you do harder and more important things in your game, the parkour becomes harder as well. So if you're just walking around and you stumble across some parkour, it's probably going to be fairly easy. But if you're, say, I don't know, finding the Ender Dragon... Oh, for f Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, Doringo, this is such a cool plugin and video and I'm going to subscribe right now and watch this video over and over again. And yes, you just you go do that. Please go do that right now. Okay, bye.